Well, hello, my friends. It's time for another craft with me. Um, I'm making some of these tags for my shop, and I figured you might as well come along for the journey. Um, I don't know. Let me... I'm sorry if the camera moves. I'm trying to move my charging cord, but it really didn't work. <laughs> um, anyway, I don't know if it's really smart to show people what I'm working on because maybe they just make it themselves and not buy it in my shop but I don't think it's any big secret if a person really wanted to figure this out they totally could and I know not everybody's interested in um you know putting these things together but this is one that I this was my prototype um and I just wanted to play a little bit for myself and I thought about selling them this way, but they're kind of, um, I don't know, with the pin and the button and everything, it's going to be a lot harder to ship economically. I figure these are a lot easier to ship. So, I mean, these are available in my shop and everybody has scraps laying around. So I figure it's a really good project if you just want to have the base and then uh, decorate it the way you want, you know. Uh, and so, whatever, we get to hang out, and if you want to make them yourself, you totally can. If you want to buy them in my shop, you totally can. The reason, the way, whole way this started was my mom, you know, my mom sends me all kinds of really awesome stuff. And she got this um, kit of, um, you know, what are they called? Eyelets, grommets, whatever, and brads at a thrift store. It says $8, but she said she didn't pay $8 for it, so I don't know what she paid for it. But I tend to not use, um, you know, real colorful. I use a lot of, like, vintage colors, but these reds and greens and golds, I'm like, what am I going to do with these? And I thought, well, Christmas time is the perfect time to use them. What can I make? <clears throat> and so I wanted to make some tags, some gift tags. And the thing I love about this is you can take this out, you know, fill it out or whatever, but you still got this. And then so next year, if you want to make a new little thing and save that and put that in there, or if you're giving it to somebody who journals or whatever, or they could use it for a bookmark. I mean, it's just cute, right? Put little love notes in there. I don't know. Anyway, that was my thought on that. <clears throat> um, I picked this dictionary up for free. It's not terribly old. I think it's like 1999. I said to my mom the other day something about something. I said, this isn't very old. It's only from 2000. And she goes, well, that was 22 years ago. And I'm like, wow. You're right, but wow, that's crazy. I don't know. When I think of like 20 years ago, I think of the 80s. <laughs> Which is so, you know, just funny. I think of 1990s as just not that long ago. But anyway, so I cut some pages out of that. Set that aside. My exacto knife back in the container so I don't have to go looking for it later. And let's move this out of the way. My desk is a mess, but uh, and actually I don't need under paper right now because we're not painting. So let's move that out of the way too. So the first one of these I made, I made with book page. But the edges were a little bit brittle. Sorry. Um, they were fine, but it just felt a little bit not sturdy enough. And so that's why I went to these doubled up dictionary pages. And I'm really happy with how that turned out. So let me, um, now that I have my little tape guide visible, 
Oh good, I just ripped some book page. It's okay, I've got lots more and that will just go into collage. This is my little tape guide so I stay in frame. I'm gonna move this over because I'm notorious for going off camera. Sorry. And um, I'm, tr I'm trying to get better aware of that problem that I have. So, okay. So I take two pages of dictionary and I turn one upside down. And the reason I do that is because when I fold this, I probably don't, how do I do that? Give me a minute. I know there's a way. <laughs> uh, you guys are probably laughing, <clears throat> which is good. Okay, for the life of me, I can't figure out how I did it the first time, but here's what we're gonna do this time to get it. <laughs> I have no idea what I did. <clears throat> I'm gonna fold them in half and I'm gonna make it so that this one is right side up on the back and then this one is right side up on the front. That makes sense. I put them together like that. So now we have right side up on both sides. And, you know, I don't think that's critical. Like, it's not really going to matter. But for me, I just wanted that. I wanted both sides to be right side up. And then I fold this over about a third of the way maybe a little less than a third of the way. And then I fold this just a little bit, like whatever that is, half an inch. And then fold it on top of the other one. Hopefully you can follow along with that, but I'll do a couple so you can see. You'll get the idea. And obviously I don't even know what I'm doing yet, so, because, <laughs> you know, I wasn't unable to adequately show you that. So to get the tag shape, I just trim off a corner. I take that corner to the other side, flip it around and Smooth, Ricky. Very smooth. You're doing great. It's good you're recording this for everybody. Alright. So, it's maybe not perfect, but it's pretty good tag shape in general. So, I'm going to ink this edge because it's easier to do that before it's sewn. And I just like it to have a little definition there. And now I'm gonna go over to the sewing machine and I'm gonna sew all the way around. I'll be right back. Alrighty, I got it all sewn all the way around. So that went well. I'm gonna go ahead and ink the rest of the edges now. Actually, I wanted to trim this because I there's a little raw edge there and I just wanna even it up. Nobody has to do that. That's just Ricky's way. I don't know. So, do do do. Ink it up, ink it up. What did we do before we had ink? I mean, before. I don't think it's been that long that these inking tools have been out. I mean, a few years for sure, but, you know, back in the day, we just didn't do that, did we? hard to remember back in the day. You know, back in the 90s. <laughs> anyway, this is a little crooked, but I don't hate it. It's all good. Okay, so the whole reason I started this project is I had these little eyelets. So I'm going to use my crocodile. Crocodile. 
You know, I didn't get one of these for the longest time because I was totally intimidated. I was like, that looks really complicated. I don't think I'll be able to handle it. <laughs> yeah. Finally, I got tired of not having one and I was like, you're going to get one. You're going to read the instructions and you're going to be just fine. And spoiler alert, I was. I always come along afterwards and with the flat plier and just make sure that's good and down so nobody gets hurt. Alrighty, I probably need like a new, I guess you can change these cubes out. Maybe I need new ones, I don't know. Or maybe it's because I don't use Dial brand. We are memory keepers eyelets because I think they're obnoxiously expensive. Um, just saying. Okay, I'm looking for my paper. I got uh, my two from paper. Those are just off cuts from a project that I had before. And so that works. I love using up leftovers. I do, I do. Can I ink that too? So I have a ton of book orders, thank you, to package up. Um, it was a good weekend for book sales and I'm feeling excited to go out and look for more books to offer. Um, but yeah, tomorrow's going to be a packing day because there's a lot of books to pack up. And not only that, I sold some stuff on my bricolage factory um, site. So I think there's only one ephemera kit left. So that's fun. So these are just my little click together um, letter stamps to and from. Ooh, that was close. Again, not perfect, but it's handmade. It's not supposed to be perfect. Okay. We are not robots, people. Come on now. I'm just going to put some of this string. I get this string in the hardware section at the dollar store. I mean, I totally pick up string if I see it second hand, but if I don't, I find that's been a good place to grab it. So there we go. There's a tag just like that. And I love, I love using dictionary page and book page for stuff. I just think it's such a fun look and, you know, literally, I mean, dictionaries give you so many pages for however much you get them for. I mean, like I said, I found this one for free, so. But I know even ones I sell in my shop, I, I sell them 1950s dictionaries for like $5. So that's a lot of material for $5. All right. So, we learned our lesson last time. We're going to We're going to not him and haw this time. You got that, Ricky? No him and haw. Okay. You two are going to cuddle and you're going to like it. <laughs> there we go. Right side up, right side up. Yes. Go me. Go me figuring stuff out. All right, we're gonna do about a third and we're gonna do this little bit, half inch. You know what I just got, I should, I should be using? I really wanted a bone folder. It was cheaper to buy this whole kit on Amazon than it was to buy the bone folder. Bone folder by itself was $8.99. This whole kit was $6.99. I'm like, 
Really? Okay. I mean, I'll use it all, so why not, right? Okay. For the longest time, I was using this as my bone folder, which I don't even know what it technically is, but it's really beat up and, like, rough on the edges, so it doesn't work very good as a bone folder. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Ricky's feeling fancy. Doesn't take much. Let's see if I can use it properly. All right. Now, fold this one over. How fun. <gasps> so fun. I love it. I think I'm gonna just make a little stack of these. To do you know do one step and then take them all over to the sewing machine at the same time and uh, be a little more efficient about things but go ahead and get these folded oh this one says aggravated assault on top so we probably want to make sure that that is not on our gift tag <laughs> Nothing says Merry Christmas like aggravated assault. Okay, so let's make that one be inside. And this one can be outside. There we go. That's better. Okay. Yeah, this just came to me last night. I was, I don't even remember what I was doing, but it just like flashed into my mind and I thought, I gotta try that. And I literally, I had been in my room just resting. I literally got up and came in here last night and made that first prototype. And I messaged my mom and I said, do you ever get an idea that you just have to like try right away? she goes all the time <laughs> I thought that was kind of funny she wasn't surprised so that was kind of fun we had to we had some conversation about the process she she definitely prefers the decorated one um, but I told her you know there's there is Sometimes people that either don't have a sewing machine or don't want to use a sewing machine for paper crafts or whatever, but would like to have um, this product. And then you get this product and you can decorate it how you want. And that's the fun part, in my opinion. So I'm happy to do this and um, offer that service. And I, I love anything that can use book pages and dictionary pages because I just find there's so much of it out there that I keep coming across and I don't want any of it to go to the landfill. I want it to be used and loved. And this is another way we can keep, keep it going and keep it in the circulation of the world, you know? Okay, this is the last two that I have um, cut out right now. Let's get them properly collated. Flip you around. We know what we're doing now. No, we don't. I'm just kidding. There we go. Now we're cooking with fire. All right. I feel like if I put that on the inside, it might, no, it won't catch on anything. Well, just to be safe, let's do this direction. You guys are probably like, what in the heck is she talking about? It's just the way my brain works. 
<laughs> no need for concern. That folded. That could have been a little straighter. And voila. inner edges. So yeah, tomorrow is packing and shipping day. Very exciting. And then what? Then I need to get back to work on a journal that I've got in process. I kind of took the whole weekend to be all about books and then this little brainstorm that I had. But I have a journal sitting over here that is, I'll show you. Um, right here is the next journal I'm working on. And it's got a few pages cut and folded, but not nearly enough, so... That will be this week's project. Okay, I'm going to the sewing machine. I'll be right back. No, I realized quickly as I got to the sewing machine and did this that, no, Ricky, you need to do the corners first. So, because then I follow that line when I'm sewing. So, let's, let's be smart about that, huh? Let's use this one as our guide. to be organized and keep my thoughts in order, but it doesn't always work. I'm sure there are faster and easier ways to do what I do, but it's all about having fun for me. I love what I do. And I need that friendly reminder that I'm not a robot. sewing machine again and all will be right with the world okay here we go all right I'm back so we have a lot of red trim red thread to trim so we had some difficulties some technical difficulties at the machine I'll tell you what happened <laughs> I have been putting off using this red thread for a long time because it's it's different. It's like silky. And I don't even know where I got it. Somebody gave it to me. And uh, okay, so after the third time it broke, which like one of my least favorite things to do is thread that sewing machine needle. <laughs> so when the thread breaks three times in a row, I'm like, okay, is this stuff really just not strong or what? And the answer is no. It is not strong at all. It just, I mean, yeah. So I am not impressed. So I switched threads finally. It only took me three times to <laughs> figure out the problem was the thread. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim these off once here. Try to contain my mess. It's wanting to stick to my sweater sleeves. I'm so excited that it's finally time to wear sweaters in Arizona. It has been a long, hot summer. And 
this is finally our nice time of year. I love it. I love that it's cool in the evening when it's time to go to sleep. 70 degrees during the day. I can cook something in the oven without the air conditioner running. <laughs> it's good times. Okay. There we go. That's done. That's taken care of. For the most part. Alrighty, now. Let's do this inking. I still like it. Good thing. I'm going to do this batch with you guys and then I'm going to shut the camera off and keep going so I can do a few sets of these for the shop. I don't know if anybody will want them, but I'll have them there just in case. And I always try to put a link to my shop in the description in case anybody's interested. I should start adding a link for my vintage bookshop there as well. I'm not very good at marketing. I <laughs> I just kind of show up here and in Instagram and trust that the right people will find me and uh, yeah I probably should be better about it but you know technology and I we we struggle a little bit. Our relationship is tenuous, so I'm working on it. Uh, but, yeah. So, that's the last of the inking. And I'll go through and punch holes. And do that step. I'm just trying to get it about center. I mean, I'm not making a science out of it. I tend to not measure. If you've been around here at all, you know, I don't. That's part of the reason I'll probably never be a good quilter, because measuring is just not what I do. Let's do a gold one. husband is a big math person. He's very good at math. He's got a minor in math. So he's an engineer. He's got engineer brain. I've got creative brain. I say we make a good team because, <laughs> you know, he's creative too though. So he's kind of the full meal deal. I just don't have the math brain. talking a lot about buying a house to uh, renovate and we have done that in the past um, but we're wondering if you know how much steam do we have as we get older how many of those projects do we take on but we both really love it and um, he's so good at the the building and fixing side of things so and I'm good with the you know decorating and making a home functional side of things so again we work together pretty well and maybe our daughter can like do the YouTube videos for us <laughs> do the editing and She's got a fantastic sense of humor. She could probably make it quite entertaining. Okay, that's done. I have not made a dent in these little eyelets that I own. But they are getting used. So that's good. All right. Oh, they're so cute. You guys are so cute. Okay. So let me run over to the paper cutter and get some pieces of paper.
Alrighty, I'm back with some paper. Go ahead and stamp these with the two from and get them inked. Has anybody started decorating for Christmas yet? I have not. Okay, but to be fair, I didn't decorate for fall either, which I usually do, but oh, I've just felt a little overwhelmed this year for some reason, so I didn't. I am making Thanksgiving dinner, though. Our oldest daughter and her family are coming over, the grandkids and all. So, I will make the turkey and the potatoes and all the things but i have not started decorating for christmas however i happen to know our neighbors have several houses have lights going already so i think that's interesting seems just earlier this year than usual could just be me though My uh, teenager said, Christmas decorating cannot start until after Thanksgiving Day. I don't care if you leave your Christmas decorations up until February, but don't bring them out before Thanksgiving. <laughs> but that was an interesting perspective. It's kind of cute that she has an opinion on it. So you have to let me know in the comments what you think. Is it one of those things where it's never too early or does it need to be after Thanksgiving or do you have a different rule? I'm curious to know everybody's thoughts on that. All right, so what do we have left to do? Just the string, yeah? So, let's see do all these at once. One, two, three, four. So, yeah, so Thanksgiving, the family will be here, and I guess maybe the day after Thanksgiving, we'll do some Christmas decorating. <laughs> so my 17-year-old, um, my she'll be 18 in January, which is just crazy to me. Um, but she's had, ever since she was, I think she was five or six when we got it, um, a pink Christmas tree. It's just a little like three foot, four foot tree. And, and it's been in her room ever since she was little. But now, now she's like, oh, I don't, I don't like pink anymore. And I want a black Christmas tree. <laughs> well, I've kept my eyes open, but I haven't seen one yet. I'm like, we could probably spray paint one. I don't know. But I'm going to keep her pink tree because I think someday she'll be really happy to have it. I know there are things that I didn't care about for a long time, and now in later adult years, I'm really glad that I still have some things from my childhood. And she loves Christmas, it's her favorite holiday, so I think someday that will be special to her. All right, in we go. Ta-da, ta-da, they're all getting put together. So what do you guys think? Is this a good project? Let me know. I'm glad you hung out with me today. It was lots of fun. Here's a set of six tags. I'm pretty happy with that. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, subscribe, like, all the things, you know, and I'll see you next time.